Hello Stampers, I am Beth Roy, an Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Thank you for stopping by my Stampin' Create with Beth YouTube channel. Today, for my Throwback Thursday video, I pulled out my some of my favorite coffee sets. Press On and Coffee Cafe. So I've made a couple cards already. I love using these images for dot coloring, so we're going to have some fun with that today as well. So for the um, current products that I used, I paired this stamp set with the Flowering Fields Designer Series paper. This paper is gorgeous. It has patterns on one side and flowers on the other. This can be found in our January to June mini, or 2022 mini catalog. And I'm also using the brand new Stylish Shapes dies. So they're stitched, they're circles, squares, and banners, and I'm using that as well. So the Press On and Coffee Cafe are retired stamp sets, but if you have those on your shelf, I encourage you to get those out and play. So today, I made a couple cards. Uh, this one is using, this paper has uh, Rich Razzleberry and Fresh Freesia, and it looks like a watercolored look, and so I used a Fresh Freesia base. And I used blends to add my dots of color. I used the Blackberry Bliss, the Fresh Freesia, and a little bit of Light Smoky Slate. And then on the inside, I used my, one of my favorite phrases from the Coffee Cafe, happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend. So I love, love, love the coffee stamps. They're going to probably be on my retired shelf forever. So I also made this cute note card. I love these little coffee cups together. This is a quick and simple note card. You can send an encouragement card to a friend. I love cards for friends. We all need them. There doesn't need to be a reason. Just a, hi, I miss you. I thought of you today. You're doing great. Uh, lots of moms would love a you're doing great card, I'm sure. Um, we always need that little encouragement. So I love this saying, all you need is confidence and lots of coffee because that's so true, right? And I used this color combo of blends, which we're going to use for the card today. Uh, we're going to recreate this one. And you can, you can dot as much as you want. I love this technique. So we're going to use the light and dark Bermuda Bay, light and dark mint macaron, and light and dark pool party. I'm going to be stamping my images and my greeting in the gr uh, basic gray classic ink. So you can use this classic ink with your blends. Um, Stampin' Up's uh, blends markers are our alcohol markers. And we have, here's our components of our card. I have a mint macaron base. It's uh, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. I like to score my cards. It just makes it a little bit easier to fold and get a nice crease on it. I'm using my bone folder to get that. And then we have a piece of basic white. It is five inches by two and a half inches. And then I have a little sliver of that designer series paper. This is the pool party watercolor version. It has a little bit of gray in it. This piece um, missed the gray. This piece has a little more gray. Um, and it is two and a quarter by four and three fourths inches. So that's going to um, go like that. And then we're going to stamp on this stitched circle and we're going to stamp on this piece for the inside. So I already have my stamps mounted up here on my blocks. So let's get stamping so we can get to dotting. So you'll get to see a little bit of the dot coloring technique today too. So I'm using this little coffee mug with the handle. And I guess really, it doesn't say a coffee cup of things, so this could be tea, whatever you want to call it. Stamp that towards the bottom. And then I'm going to stamp my greeting, a cup of thanks up here towards the top. And then for the inside, I'm going to go ahead and stamp that while I have my um, ink open. I'm just going to grab a little scrap sheet to stamp off here because I want this very light. So I'm going to stamp, I'm going to ink this, excuse me, and I'm just tapping down onto my ink pad and then 
checking that I didn't rock it and get too much. I'm going to stamp off once, that's first generation. I'm gonna stamp off again, that's second generation. And I'm gonna use the third generation down here along the bottom. So it's just a real faint line of coffee cups. You could color those in if you wanted. I'm going to leave mine just as is and put on the inside. You could also use that image on your um, envelope to make it cute for your recipient. So I'm going to start off with dots and dot coloring is just as it sounds. It's very simple. You just um, take your marker. I'm using the bullet tip end. So our Stampin' Blends has two ends. It has a firmer tip, which I call the bullet tip, and then we have the brush tip. I'm going to use the bullet tip. And all you do is you go straight down and you lift straight up and you you create little dots. And as you put them closer together, they will blend. That's the idea is to quickly just dot on the color. You can make your uh, lines as thick as you want. And you can go around your image, you can do the inside of your image, you can do it however you want, whatever you wanna do. I'm putting on quite a few colors here, so I'm going to go a little bit heavier with my Bermuda Bay toward the bottom. It's just my preference, my choice. So I'm just throwing the color on there, just dotting it right on. I'm gonna go around the handle and I do turn my image. I turn my image as I'm coloring and dotting. So you can make that go up as, as high as you want and as much as you want. You can make those dots as thick as you want. Fill in a little or a lot, completely up to you. And no two will look alike. My This will be nothing like my original because I'm coloring it differently this time. It's just the way it rolls. <laughs> so now I'm gonna come in with the light Bermuda Bay and I'm just gonna go back around where I was with that dark and spread out a little bit and go over top of where I put the dark dots. I love the texture of this. Hopefully you can see that on the video. I love all the texture that the dotting leaves. So this is a fun way to color in your images and just add in this great texture. So the, the stamping blends are current. You can get all these stamping blends and you can get this designer series paper. If you don't have this particular coffee mug, you could use whatever you have. We do have some new teacups. Uh, they could be coffee cups um, that are available. That would be cute. The idea is just anything with a line stamp to that way you can color or dot around it. And if you wanted, you could even uh, stamp a really light image and then do some dot coloring on top of it to add texture. That would work too. Now I'm gonna move on to my mint macaron. It is a little bit different shade. I love teals, so I usually pick um, teal combos, blue combos. I definitely love those. Um, and mint macaron is not normally on my list, but I do love it with pool party in Bermuda Bay. So even though it's a little bit of a green, it's more of a green than the blue teals, um, I am going to mix this right in with it. So this is the dark. And I'm just gonna throw some dots on there. And I'm, I'm kind of just tapping down quickly because the longer you hold it there, uh, the bigger the dots will be. So I'm just tapping it down and I'm going right over where I put that Bermuda Bay. It's okay, all these colors are going to kind of mix together and it's gonna look great. 
I like it. So I'm just going around this. I'm going right over top of that light Bermuda Bay. And I'm getting a little sloppy, but that's okay. I think it's, it's okay. I'm gonna go in here just a little bit. So I'm just building up that color with the dots. And you can put them kind of far apart. It's gonna give you a little bit different effect than if you just constantly dot right on top of each other. So hopefully you can, can see that color developing. And as you get them really close, see up here, it looks like I just scribbled, but it's because I got my dots really close together. We do wanna start adding some past our cup here. So you can do just one side, you can do um, you can do your whole cup, you can do just the outside of your cup, you can have a lot of fun with it. Now I'm going to come in with the light mint macaron and I'm just going to go over where I put that dark. So when you get the blends, they come in a light and a dark and that's, they will blend together. But I like to add in lots of other colors and really experiment. So this is a fun way to experiment is kind of using the dot coloring. And you don't have to use the same colors in all the same spots. So if you wanted to use the pool party in one area and the Bermuda Bay in one area and the mint macaron in one area, you certainly could, and it would be just fine. It would be um, a lot different results, but just have fun with it. That's the idea. Now I'm gonna move on to the pool party. I'm gonna do some dark pool party right here and a little bit up here. And then I'm gonna kinda of just come over here and throw some on. Down here. So I'm just filling in this area down here with a lot. I like this look. I feel like it looks like it's pixelated a little bit, like the color is just breaking up and floating away. It's probably one of my favorite types of coloring with the blends markers. And it works really well with an alcohol marker because the colors really layer and blend and kind of smooth together a little bit, but you can still see the dots. So this is light pool party. And I'm just coming in with it a little bit, mixing in there. I'm going to mix on this hodgepodge down here with all the colors. And I'm just going to keep going anywhere that I feel it might need a little, little thicker, smoothed out. And like I said, depending on how you're dotting, I'm kind of being a little sloppy. Um, 
it's going to blend and look a little bit different. So sometimes I really take my time and sometimes I'm just throwing it down and I'm not worrying about it. So I'm just mixing that pool party in a little bit. You can always go back and adjust if you want different colors or if you want something to be darker in a different area, you can come in and add some more dots. So see, this cup definitely turned out differently than this one. I, I didn't fill as much as this of this white space in as I did with this. And that's okay. I like that it comes out different every time. So we're ready to assemble our card. I had the color lift over here just in case I felt like I needed it. But we didn't have to use it. So I'm going to use a multi-purpose liquid glue. You could use a uh, stamp and seal or seal plus or glue dots or whatever you are comfortable with. I am just using the multi-purpose liquid glue. My bottle's running out here. And you want to be careful with how much you put on your designer series paper because it can buckle a little bit. It's thinner than your cardstock. So I'm just gonna glue that uh, designer series paper piece right onto my basic white layer. And then I'm gonna pop this right on here. I love this layout where we, you just have a little bit and then a die cut or a square or a rectangle, um, whatever you have. So if you want, you can copy this layout. If you love this card, please let me know with a thumbs up. And also I'd love to know in the comments if you have the stamp set, um, do you color with blends? Um, have you tried dot coloring? So if you want to let me know, I would love to know if you have these stamp sets, the press on or the coffee cafe on your shelf. And if you have it, please get it out and use it. Let me know, um, what cards you've made with it. If you like what you see on my channel or on this video, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all the support that I can get. And I love bringing you new videos. So if you subscribe, you'll know when I post a new video. It'll post in your subscription section. And if you think your friends would love my video, please invite them as well. Okay, so I use dimensionals just to raise this up a little bit. There we go. Quick and simple card. I'm just going to use some liquid, um, liquid glue for the inside. Now I can write my message in there. Again, you could color this inside piece if you wanted. I just like mine to be white and gray. I really want the outside to be where all the focus is. You could also stamp your envelope to match. That would be cute as well. Or use, if you have more of this paper, you could add it to your the flap of your envelope. So I hope you enjoyed this little Throwback Thursday video. Quick cards, fun way to color and use some of your retired sets. So these two sets are retired. Um, they are no longer for sale. And then we also have the designer series paper, which you can get from uh, my online store. Feel free to go there and browse and see what we have. Uh, you can uh, get there by going to bethroy.stampinup.net and click on shop now, and you'll be able to see all of our current items um, that are available. So thank you all for stopping by my channel and taking the time to watch my video tutorial. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Take care.